welcome on today's episode of Math Tuto with Teacher Jack. Ihanda natin ang ating tainga, ang ating isip at ang ating puso at sabay-sabay tayong Math Tuto. For today, I'll be discussing about the relationship of the volume of rectangular prism and pyramid, cylinder and cone, sphere and cylinder. Our lesson objective, at the end of this lesson, you will be able to determine the relationship of the volume between a rectangular prism and a pyramid, cylinder and a cone, and cylinder and a sphere. When we say volume, it can be defined as the three-dimensional space enclosed by a boundary or occupied by an object. The volume of an object is measured in cubic units such as cubic centimeter, cubic inch, cubic foot, cubic meter, etc. And volume of a shape is the amount of space it fills. First, let's have the volume of a rectangular prism. So, 1 cube is equals to 1 cubic centimeter or kahit anong cubic unit man ang gagamitin natin. Okay? So, to visualize the volume of this rectangular prism, let's say for example, itong isang cube na to, inilagay natin dito sa loob. So, kailangan mapuno natin ang ating rectangular prism. So, Kapag ka nilagyan mo ng nilagyan ng cube or cubes itong ating rectangular prism, kapag napuno siya, ito siya. Okay? And to get the volume of this rectangular prism, bibilangin mo lahat ng inilagay mong cube sa loob ng ating rectangular prism. So, let us count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And 8 din dun sa likuran niya. So, 8 plus 8 equals 16. So, therefore, the volume of this rectangular prism is 16 cubic centimeters. Or you can write it like this. 16 cubic centimeters. And the other way is like this. 16 cubic centimeters. How to get the volume of a rectangular prism? Okay? So, our formula is volume is equals to L times W times H or length times width times height. Take a look at this width and length. So, this is the area of the base. So, therefore, we can conclude that the volume is equals to the area of the base times height. Okay, so our length is 15 meters times our width 7 meters times our height 6 meters. So 15 meters times 7 meters is equals to 105 square meters. Bring down 6 meters and then when you multiply 105 square meters by 6 meters, the product is 630 cubic meters. So, therefore, the volume of this rectangular prism is 630 cubic meters. Volume is the product of the area of the base and height. And the formula in finding the volume is equal to the area of the base times height or B times H. So, take a look at this picture. What solid figures can you see in this picture? Correct! So, we have the pyramid. So, this is our pyramid. And the next one is the rectangular prism. And this is the rectangular prism. Now, take a look at the Bases and the heights of our two solid figures. What can you say about their bases and their heights? Very good. Meron silang magkasukat na base or bases at yung kanilang height ay magkasukat din. So, tignan 
natin ang picture na to, meron tayong pyramid at rectangular prism. So, isipin natin na ito ay puno ng gulaman. Okay? So, kapag sinalin mo siya dito sa rectangular prism, para mapuno itong rectangular prism, kinakailangan ng tatlong pyramid ng gulaman. Okay? So, ibig sabihin... Tatlo nito, tatlong pyramid, ang katumbas niya ay isang rectangular prism. Therefore, we can say that the volume of the pyramid, this is the pyramid, is one-third of the volume of a rectangular prism considering that they have the same measurement of base and height. We have one pyramid, two pyramid, three pyramid is equals to one rectangular prism. To get the volume of a pyramid, we can use this formula. Volume is equals to the one-third of the volume of a rectangular prism. Diba kanina sabi ko ang formula in getting the volume of a rectangular prism is length times width times height. So dito naman sa pyramid, one-third ng volume ng rectangular prism ay ang volume ng ating pyramid. Or, one-third of base times height. Or we can use this formula. Volume is equals to length times width times height divided by 3. Or if the given is base, we can use this formula. Volume is equals to base times height divided by 3. Ang ibig sabihin, ang one-third ng rectangular prism ay ang volume ng isang pyramid. So, let's solve for the volume of this pyramid. Our formula, length times width times height divided by 3. We have our length which is 8 centimeters times our width, which is 3 centimeters, times our height, which is 5 centimeters, then divided by, by 3. So, 8 centimeters times 3 centimeters is equals to 24 square centimeters, times, let us bring down, 5 centimeters, divided by, by 3. So, 24 square centimeters times 5 centimeters is equals to 120 cubic centimeters. Divided by, by 3, 120 divided by, by 3 is equals to volume of 40 cubic centimeters. So, how to get the volume of a cylinder? Okay, the formula in finding the volume of a cylinder, volume is equal to area of the base times height. So, the bases of our cylinder are circles. So, ito yung circle, base, and then the other one, itong nasa baba. Okay, so, because the area of the base is not given, we need to get the area of this base. Okay, and the formula in getting the area of a circle is pi r squared. And then times the height of the cylinder so that we can get its volume. Let's substitute pi is equivalent to 3.14 times the radius which is 2 centimeters squared. It means we need to multiply the radius Two times times the height 15 centimeters so 2 centimeters times 2 centimeters is equals to 4 square centimeters and then we bring down 3.14 
then times 15 centimeters. Iuna nating i-multiply si 4 square centimeters at si 15 centimeters. Okay, so we have 60 cubic centimeters multiplied by our pi which is 3.14. So our volume is 188.4 cubic centimeters. So iyon ang volume ng ating cylinder. So, we have here two solid figures. Can you identify what is this? Correct. This is a cone. And how about this? Very good. It is a cylinder. Now, take a look at the measurement of the height and the radius of these two solid figures. What can you say about it? Very good. So, magkasukat na magkasukat ang kanilang height at ang Radius. Let's have an experiment using the cone and cylinder na ipinakita ko kanina. Yung merong the same measurement ng height and base. Okay, so kapag ka ang isang cone nilagyan ko ng isang puno ng buhangin at sinalin ko sa ating cylinder, so nagkaroon ng one third na laman ang ating cylinder. Binuhusan ko pa ng isa pang cone ng buhangin ng ating cylinder. So, nagkaroon ngayon ng two-third na laman ng buhangin ang ating cylinder. So, para mapuno, dadagdagan ko pa ng isa pang cone ng buhangin. At nung binuhus ko sa cylinder, napuno ang ating lalagyan. So, ano ang ibig sabihin nito? The volume of cone is one-third of the volume of the cylinder considering that they have the same base and the same height. How to get the volume of a cone? So our formula is volume is equals to one-third the volume of a cylinder. So the formula in finding the volume of a cylinder is pi r squared times height, di ba? Eh, one third lang ng volume ng cylinder ang volume ng cone. Kaya meron tayong one third sa unahan. Or, volume is equals to the volume of a cylinder, which is pi r squared times height divided by 3. Now, let us solve for the volume of this cone. Pi is equivalent to 3.14 times our r squared. Our given radius is 2 meters. So, 2 meters squared times 5 meters divided by 3. 2 meters squared means we need to multiply this 2 meters 2 times. So, 2 meters times 2 meters. We have 3.14 times 4 square meters times 5 meters divided by 3. So, unahin natin i-multiply yung walang butal, etong 4 square meters and 5 meters. Meron ngayon tayong 3.14 times 20 cubic meters divided by 3. And when we multiply 3.14 by 20 cubic meters, the product is 62.8 cubic meters. And then, divided by 3 para makuha natin yung volume ng cone. So, we have the volume of 20.93 cubic meters. Okay, let's have our next examples of solid figures. We have here is spear and cylinder. So, considering that the base and height of these two solid figures are the same, let's have an experiment. So, this sphere is full of water. At kapag kasinalin mo ito sa cylinder, kung papansinin mo, two-third ng cylinder ang nalagyan ng water. So, ano ang relationship ng sphere sa cylinder? How to get the volume of a sphere? So, we have volume is equals to two-third ng volume ng cylinder. 
So, we have 2 third pi r squared times height. And we all know that the height of a sphere is equivalent to 2r. So, we have volume is equals to 2 third pi r squared times 2r. And let us simplify this formula. Okay? So, 2 times 2 is equals to 4. So, we have 4 third. And ang ibig sabihin ng r squared is r times r. And then, we have another r here. So, idagdag natin, times r. So, meron ngayon tayong tatlong r, which is equivalent to r cube. So, ang ating formula ay magiging ganto. So, 2 times 2 is 4, and then, copy natin yung 3, 4 third, pi r cube. Naging r cube siya kasi meron tayong tatlong R. We need to multiply the radius three times. Let's get the volume of this sphere. Our formula is 4 third pi r cube. So, 4 third, the value of pi, 3.14 times our given radius, which is 2 centimeters cube. We need to multiply the 2 centimeters three times. So, 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. So, we have... 8 cubic centimeters. That's why we have 4 third, 3.14 times 8 cubic centimeters. So, unahin na natin i-multiply itong si 4 at saka si 8. So, 4 times 8 is 32. And then, copy lang natin yung 3 sa baba. So, we have volume is equals to 32 cubic centimeters divided by, by 3 times 3.14. So, 32 divided by 3 is equals to 10.67. Then, copy lang natin yung cubic centimeters times 3.14. If you multiply these two given numbers, the product is 33.50 cubic centimeters. So, the volume of this sphere is 33.50 cubic centimeters. So, tignan ulit natin yung relationship ng cone and cylinder. Considering that they have the same base and height, three cones is equivalent to one cylinder. And if our cone and spear have the same base and height, the equivalent of one spear is two cones. Therefore, one sphere plus one cone is equals to one cylinder. Remember, volume is the amount of space it fills. It measures in cubic units. And in finding the volume, our formula is V is equals to area of the base or B times height or H or simply V is equals to B times H. And the volume of a pyramid is one-third of the volume of prism. The volume of cone is one-third of the volume of cylinder. And the volume of sphere is two-third of the volume of cylinder. There you have it, kids! I know that you've learned a lot on today's episode. A friendly reminder, kids, don't forget to answer your activities for this week's lesson that can be found in your module. Thank you so much for watching and listening on this video. Kung hindi ka pa nakasubscribe sa aking YouTube channel, i-click lang ang subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell para lagi kang updated sa mga bagong video lessons ko. Maraming salamat! God bless! Bye-bye!